Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Wherever time you're listening to, I'm Cyclone. It's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Let's go ahead and get our last BR Blue Class 47 snare out of the way. The last of these four snares that came with the East Coast Main Line that utilizes this train. There is, again, a career snare, but that is the career snare that goes with the Class 55 Delta, which we're not going to be using today. So we're just going to be going ahead and finishing the Class 47 BR Blue right now. We have the HST snare tomorrow. Make sure you stay tuned for that. That's going to be a good one, I think. But I wanted to uh, go ahead and get this one to you first because, you know what, might as well finish off with this train. Then we can go ahead and start worrying about upgrading the Armstrong Powerhouse sounds on. But why not, right? We're going to have a snare for that pack as well, and I'm going to have to show you that at some point. It might be on this route, actually. I don't know. Uh, but we're not going to play it right now. That's going to be a future um, item here, I believe. So uh, let's go ahead and get into Big Trouble in Tyne Yard at Tyne Yard. You know, that's near Newcastle, if you forgot from previous scenarios. So on a sunny spring afternoon, you have to assemble a long consist, then head out to Fairy Hill. Hmm. Okay, I didn't know we were going to have that far of a drive. It's only a 45-minute scenario. Fairy Hill, you may remember, is beyond a couple stations there. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look. I'm trying to remember what the name of that station is. Dunstan? No, it wasn't Dunstan. That is nearer to... Uh, I will give it to you in just a second. I have it right in front of me. Durham. Durham is the station I'm thinking of. Dunstan is closer to... Um, the uh, Newcastle area, and I don't know why Dunstan was crossing my mind because I knew that was wrong, but we're going to be going past Durham to Ferry Hill. I talked about it a little bit last time, and the uh, we almost got sidetracked into the uh, siding to finish early, which would have been bad, uh, but we're going to go ahead and go there again, and uh, this time we want to finish there, so let's go ahead and do it. Let's get busy. There is little time to dawdle. Start your engine, set the switches, and head to Tyne Yard 58 for your first pickup. Couple the wagons to the rear of your locomotive. Okay, let's not dawdle. It said start the engine, but I have a feeling the engine's already started. Let me just confirm this. Yep, the engine's already started. I don't know why we had to start our engine. So the first task, we're coupling to some cars. Where are we coupling to some cars? We're doing it right there. Oh, that's where we are. The cars we want to couple to are actually way up here. So where are we going? We're going to, yep, Tyne Yard 58. Those are the five cars right there, I'm going to wager. So we have to make our way through the yard to get to Tyne Yard 58. We're going to be routed around the outer... Good job, guys. Good job, routers. You're geniuses, I tell you. Absolute geniuses. We're going to go this way, because I feel like going this way. You go away. Uh, Tyne Yard 58 is way up ahead here. We're going to, I guess we're just going to pick our own path through today because that seems like a good option. Uh, the path I'm choosing appears to be clear. I'm just going to verify this. If the path is clear, we're good to proceed. The path is clear. We are good to proceed. And once we get back there, we're going to have to set this to leave, but we're going to have to also head back a little bit. Let's hope that we don't have a problem with this particular path. Uh, we don't have any timings here, so we, so... We can dawdle as much as we want to, actually. Wow, that got up to speed fast. You can tell it's not winter, can you? Let's hide this. So yeah, the trains we want a couple to are right over there. We're now in, I believe, Tyne Yard 56. No, 55. Let's just verify. That's not how to verify. This is how to verify. So we're coming along in the uh, yard next to it right now. And uh, you can see there's a train in the yard next to us as well. So that yard is 54. We're in 55. Three over is where we're going to 58. So, uh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. Hello. Let's go this side for a second. And let's stick on this side. So we're going to be following that third track to connect to those cars back there. So let's see where this third track is going to take us. Or where it's going to go in relation to us. We're going to start slowing down now. Because we're starting to get to the point we need to find out where we're going. Let's watch that track. It's merging right now. It's merging again. We're about to join that track. So back in the cab. We're about to merge with that track, and we should be all set, I believe. Yep, the junction was set for us. Everything is good. We're going to merge right now. Come to a stop. 
come to a stop, I said. I'll just set this, we're going to leave this way, so why not? And set that as well. So that's taken care of. Now let's figure out how to get back to that yard, shall we? 58 is not that one. That's the one we don't want to go to. It was next to us. 58 is that one. So this is the yard I'm thinking of. That's tiny yard 58. That is set. This is now set. We can now back up. Well, that's easy enough. Yep, there you go. 58 is on the HUD, so it's exactly where we want to go. The only ones that show up or anything they're used as a waypoint. That's really how it works. I'm going to go to 15 for now, but that's actually going to be a little bit fast by the time we get back there. So we're going to slow down as we enter. Take that down immediately to 10. I feel like I'm backing up a car now for some reason. All right, we're going to rely on our brake man to help us now. Oh, we could have actually driven either side of this train. Why didn't I do that? I should have just changed cabs and gone forward this way. That would have been more fun. Oh, well. I didn't think of it. My fault. Both sides are the same. 47263. 47263. Trains going by, I hear something. Am I right? Let's find out where I am. Yeah, train's going by over there. That's the guy going by, British local. You can see him up there now, actually. Same train. 1203 British local. I'm going a little too slow now. That appears to be a passenger service way over on the main line. So and that's the station over there. That's actually a station over there. There we are. We got that connected. Good start. Now set the junctions to couple up to the full coal hoppers to your east and tiny yard 54. That you just drove by in 55 to the rear of your train. Okay. So we're going to go pick those up now. The ones I just saw over there. I don't know what that other train is in the yard is. 1428 standard freight. It is not ready to leave yet. It... He's having lunch. He's going to leave at some point while we're coupling up, I believe. 1428. He's not going to leave for 20 minutes. He's not scheduled to go for 20 minutes. So if we hang around too long, hello. If we hang around too long, we're going to go ahead and uh, see him leave. Actually, we're not going to hang around too long. Or maybe we will because we've got a third coupling task. Can we do this all quickly? If we can do this all quickly, we're going to be fine. We're stopping at Tiny Yard 53. What is going on here? We're not even leaving Tiny Yard. How is this a 45-minute scenario? How is this a 45 minute scenario? I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna make sure all the, yeah, we're, that's as far as I need to go right now, we're good. Exit one set of yards, enter another. So uh, let's uh, keep an eye on our speed here. Slow down. Getting a lot of coupling noises here, which I'm not really liking right now. So we're coming over to this area, I believe. This is the switch I'm gonna to wanna to hit to back up. And since I left through 55 before, that means I have, well, you know what? Where did I come out? I came out on the bottom of those. So this is the one I came out on. I'm gonna to wanna to switch that one back. So everything else is fine because I came out that way before. So this is the junction I'm gonna keep an eye on in a second. And uh, once I'm fully across, I can come to a stop. So I'm just watching from here, which is kind of eye in the sky material. You don't do this realistically. So from eye in the sky land, we're gonna go ahead and start backing up now to the yard we wanna back up into. Reverse or in the other direction. 
that on, and we are now in going to Tiny Yard 54. Break Van, get to work. Well, we're back at that, sir. Thank you. Good work. Ten seems fast enough for this. Let's get up to ten. There we go. But yeah, this is actually very close to the front of the siding, which I approve of. We've been given enough room to back our entire train in, which I approve of. Now, the only thing I can say for sure is that the uh, train that is seven sidings over is not one that we're going to be uh, coupling to. That is for sure. In fact, I think there appear to be multiple trains. There's a 1406 standard freight. It should be leaving now. Why it hasn't yet, I don't know. And there's a 1321 low speed freight, which must have been arriving and must be staying there. I don't know what's going on with those. But they have nothing to do with us from what I understand. So I'm not going to touch them. Unless I'm told to. That'll be another story. Well done. Your concept is two-thirds complete. Really? It looks to be a big one, but your engine should cope. Now, a couple of the tankers waiting in Tyne Yard Upper 7 to the rear of your train. Don't forget to set those junctions. Where the heck is Tyne Yard Upper 7? Like, can you imagine working in this yard back in the day, having to know where all these places were? Oh, it's all the way down here. This is upper? Okay. So we're coupling to these guys, is what you're telling me. Which means we need to get in front of them, which means we probably want to take Tiny Yard 6, which appears to be clear and appears to be exactly where we're going right now. That is exactly where we're going. So uh, I've already set all the junctions ahead because I am a forward thinker, and being a forward thinker, I do that kind of thing. So, all the junctions are set. Let's just go forward. Now I'm having trouble hauling this. So we're going to go ahead and verify, even though I'm pretty sure everything is correct. We're just going to verify and sure enough coming into the siding is clear. What I'm more concerned about is making my way out of the siding. And I have to make sure those paths are set correctly. They do appear to all be set correctly. Going to Tyne Yard Gate 2. I'm not going to go all the way there. I'm just going to get to the front of the siding right here. And I'm going to switch this back and forth basically. I don't think it's that one actually I want to switch. It's actually this one I want to switch. So that's so that last, that last manual switch to the bottom is the one I'm going to have to change. In order to get to tiny upper seven. So now that I know that, I can proceed all the way close towards the tiny yard gate two, which is actually the next task, 45 hundredths of a mile away. And uh, we're going to be coming back, stopping. Are we using the same sign twice? What the heck is going on? And then we're going to do some marshalling apparently at that location. I don't get this. I don't get this task. Something does not make sense here. I'm just going to do what I'm told. I'm just going to do what I'm told. They're probably going to tell us that we, uh, we're not supposed to pick up the whole train after we pick up the train. That's probably what's going to happen. Just a random guess here. So notice these uh, car numbers. No, they don't match that. Okay. Well, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Well, Tiny Yard Upper 7 is going to be home to a lot of fun things today. All I can say about that. I know all these signs are set because I already checked them. So we're going to watch for the uh, tracks to merge here because that's what I'm going to want to focus on. 
I just realized I should probably be in the cab in case this yellow signal alerts me. No, there's no yellow signal. I thought there was a yellow signal. Well, what do I know? Entering a 40, we don't care because we're going to be backing up anyway. Brakes. We are past our junction point. We are now going to reverse. Yeah, time more break. Thank you. Back up. So you notice the task says something about four. Uh, where is it? Four seven two six three. You might be asking, what is four seven two six three? As I do this slight backup here, let's turn on our things here again. 47263 is probably a missing vehicle. There's a train going by, 1213 British Local. Oh, that's me. I'm marshalling my own engine to 47263. Good job, me. Something's not making sense here. Freight man. So let's check our tasks here. We're going to couple. We're going to head back to Tyne Gate 2. We're going to come back to this side. We're going to marshal our own engine somehow here. Then we're going to stop at Tyne Yard 3 and finish this, or 63 and finish this scenario. I'm confused. I'm sure we're going to get more clear directions, but we're already 15 minutes into what is supposedly a 45 minute scenario, and I don't understand how it's a 45 minute scenario. Because we're going to be done all the coupling in 15 minutes. We just have to separate our engine and back up to a, to an ending point for whatever weird reason. So I'm starting to slow down a little bit now. I'm down to five miles per hour, coming down to four miles per hour. Now down to three miles per hour. Oh, I can actually back all the way. No, I'm not. I'm going to have to take the brakes off a little bit. So staying at two miles per hour for a moment. Now we're going to put the brakes on again. Perfect. All done. Your train may struggle, but set the throttle to full and exit the yard through the exit to the south. And then slowly back up back into the yard because we're idiots, apparently, is how that's going to work. Was this a train test? Are you testing us today? They said set it at full. I set it at full. All right, so we passed the junction point. Everything is set for us to proceed here. That's an automatic junction, the last one, so we don't have to worry about that one. All right, let's see what it's gonna tell us to do. I'm taking the throttle off now. You are nearly clear of the yard. Your train seems to be struggling a little. Proceed to Ferry Hill. We are proceeding to Ferry Hill. Why are we proceeding to Ferry Hill? There are no tasks for us anywhere at Ferry Hill. This is bad. There must be an engineering fault with your locomotive. It cannot handle all these wagons. Gently reverse the entire concepts back to tying yard upper, tying yard upper seven for a quick inspection. I knew something was happening. That was an emergency brake. So it's gonna show up for us as an emergency brake on the uh, details. So that was scripted to happen. We're not actually proceeding to Ferry Hill. In fact, if you look at the uh, up ahead, the line is set for us, so technically we were clear to proceed with a yellow signal, but then we would have had a red up ahead. So we, so even though the junction is set, we would actually have not been allowed to proceed, I don't believe. And there are reds all the way along. So 
Whether those were set before, I have no idea. I'm assuming they weren't. If we were to proceed, we would actually be um, flagged as passing red after red after red and basically breaking the rules. So, um, yeah, we're, we have to do what we're told. We have to back up. Now, we know that in this game, this train can handle this particular consist. We know that it can do that. But uh, maybe there's a fault with this particular engine. I don't know. Maybe there's a fault with this engine in the... Uh, and this is a real-life situation where the engine developed a fault. And that might be why we're not allowed to uh, proceed. Because we have to act like this train has a fault. That could be what it is. I don't know. But we know this train can handle it. I've actually pulled longer trains with this consist, I believe. With this train engine. Last scenario. 120 minutes. Yep, we did it. So I know it can do it. So remember that task that said marshal the engine? I think what we're going to do is we're going to uncouple everything. But let's see what our inspection, our inspector guy tells us. I'm going to go ahead and pull out of the engine right now. Here's a chance for us to admire engine number 47263 from the other side, I'm going to say. I never put the headlights on. Well, I'm an idiot. Thankfully, the fault is minor, but caution dictates that another locomotive must now take your freight to Ferry Hill. Uncouple your locomotive from the wagons. Ah, uh, you don't get to do the job today. Sorry. You don't get to do the job today. Navigate back through the yard, switching junctions as you go to Time Yard 63 for near the maintenance shed, where your responsibility will end. So, I'm, whoa, that's not what I want to do. Let's uncouple again before I screw up. Stop. Yeah, my engine really wants to take the train with it today, but unfortunately it's not going to be allowed to. So if I can figure out where I just was, let's turn, not that, let's get back into the coupling view and make sure it's uncoupled. Is Because it, it coupled back up and I want to make sure it's uncoupled. There we go. That is now the, notice the red headlights come on as I uncouple. There is how you know that your train has uncoupled. The headlights, the rear lights come on. There you go. Let's make sure I do this the right way now, shall we? There we go. That's what I want to do. Okay. What does that sticker say, by the way? Pause. That's just danger. Overhead live wire. Thank you. I'll figure out my buttons. Buttons are hard. So we're going to move forward here. So what I need to do now is figure out where the maintenance shed is located. I'm going to go ahead and actually I don't need to worry about going to the front of that um, automatic concept because I think that one's going to stay set for me anyway. But I'm going to stop right in this general area I believe is where I want to probably stop because I can probably back up from here. So let's figure out what I'm doing. I want to go to 63 which is way back here uh, in the... Huh? 66, 65, 64, so 63 is probably, where the heck is 63? Oh, hi, 63, right there. That is 63. Didn't sound me on the right spot when I zoomed in, did it? So 63 is this guy, which means I need to follow that path. That is correct, that is correct, that is not correct, that is now correct, that is now correct. Um, where am I coming from? Oh, the blue line is right here. It ends here, which is not what I want to do. Um, oh, it's just not showing me the path back there yet. That's what's going on. Oh, now it is. Okay, I had the wrong junction set. So now we're going all the way back to yard 63, and it looks like it is steering me into the entrance of 63. So I'm going to go ahead and put my reverser on. We know that we are half a mile away from Tyne Yard 63. Why am I still set for Tyne Yard Upper 7? This is not correct. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go forward again a little bit, shall we? I almost made a big, big, bad mistake. I don't want to make a big, big, bad mistake. So, not the most elegant way to do this, but we're going to do it. So, number six. 
I should be okay now to back up. I'm gonna check the initial junction just to make sure. The first one is good for backing up now back through upper six, which is what we're doing. Let's keep it at 10 while I check the, next, the junctions ahead. Rather behind, but for my purpose ahead. It should be set because this is where I came before. Sure enough, that is where I came before. Wait a second, I see what was wrong. I had set for junction seven for yard seven and not for yard six. That's why my blue line was not working. Okay, I got it now. Silly mistake. Silly, silly mistake. We can go 25. Farewell, Consus, I don't get to haul because the game thinks there's a problem with the engine. Farewell, fine consist. This is the trouble at Tyne Yard right here. So we're going to make our way back through this uh, mishmash network maze over this bridge over a lovely road. Lovely road into the main yard here. Going way faster than I feel we should be going in a yard, but we're allowed to. So I'm slowing it down because we're actually gonna have a much uh, shorter stopping distance than you would imagine for a yard, particularly because we're going 25 miles per hour. Now it's said near the engine shed, so I'm gonna look for the engine shed. I'm gonna back up based or back up to that engine shed and do it based on that. So I have a brake man riding in the uh, back of the engine right now. You don't see him, but he's there. We are in time yard 63 and I think the, I don't think we're allowed to go far enough back that we would actually reach the so-called engine shed back there. I don't think we're allowed to do that. So all we can do is really back up and that's really all we can do. We can lollygag all we want, but we're not gonna be able to go any further than that junction. So we're gonna stop right about here before this yellow area ends, because that is where we have to end the scenario, right here at the end of this yellow area, as far as we can go. I'm gonna stay within the yellow area well enough that I don't chance anything going wrong. So here we are, coming to a stop, and let's uh, look, at the trans look at our failed engine as we finish. So once 47141 back there is finished with its inspection, we're going to be able to uh, move back in the shed. For right now, let's just turn everything off here. Because this engine's not going to be doing any work for a while. It's going to be sitting here in the uh, siding. So engine's off, and we're just going to wait for the scenario to finish. You have completed this scenario. Although there was an error, it was through no fault of your own, and you followed the instructions correctly. The locomotive should be up and running soon. Like I said, it's just a case where the game... Uh, triggered a fault that I'm sure there was nothing wrong with the train realistically because the game was able to handle it. But in any case, you, uh, we're done with that. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. There are going to be scenarios like that. It's a normal procedure in uh, real railroading. So uh, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and you can also join my Discord server. Other than that, have a wonderful day, evening, night, whatever it is for your part of the world. Make sure you stay tuned if you uh, want to see some HST action. I've got a treat for you tomorrow. So uh, if you're on our playlist, on my playlist, you're going to be able to see that video come up right behind this one. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for whatever you come back for. I would love to have you back for another drive, but you're going to enjoy tomorrow, so don't miss tomorrow's. Uh, that'll start on the playlist in three, two, one.